Thanks for tuning in to our radio broadcast from the Asowiec Fortress. I'm here with Vladimir Karpovich Kutlinsky, the current commander of the fortress. Mind telling our listeners, how was the stay so far? Thanks for asking. I must say that the September of 1914 and the period between February and March 1915 were difficult. The Germans threw everything against us, though we managed to hold out. Though I honestly didn't think we would be able to, especially after seeing the artillery units the Germans brought with them, but it seems like vodka and Slavic spirit kept us alive. Is there any chance the Germans will return? If they do, Mother Russia will crush them. Thank you for the interview, we will get back to you. There has been a massive development. The Germans have returned. Who's that in the command? No, that cannot. Field Marshal, Paul von Hindenburg. We have enough gas masks, right? Can you hear me? It seems we've been attacked using chlorine gas. <coughs> There's blood everywhere. Wait. <coughs> it hurts. <coughs> Here. Have a tissue. You might as well make yourself useful and help us counterattack if we're going to die anyway. Wait, what's going on? They're gone. They've retreated. We, we did it. We won. Shortly after these events unfolded, the Russians were forced to destroy the fortress, as to keep it from falling into enemy hands. Many of these brave souls would never return to their families. They would succumb to internal bleedings suffered in the chlorine gas attack. Russia would go on to surrender on 3 March 1918, leaving the fight against the Central Powers.